Now that we've been working in our document, we're ready to talk about the Pages panel. The Pages panel provides us a lot of power with regards to our documents in InDesign. Using the Pages panel, we can navigate to our pages, we can add new pages, we can delete pages, we can move pages around, and we can also go in and modify how we view the information in the Pages panel. So let's begin. In the Pages panel, in the upper right of our panel menu, we have the pages information, which shows us none and a master, and then there's a horizontal rule that then shows us the three pages in our spread. The master section we're going to talk about later, but the horizontal rule can be moved to expand or collapse that section. So if I wanted to see more of my masters, I can expand that down or collapse it. I do want to see more of these pages, so I'm going to actually move that up and collapse that section down. I see that I have my three pages that we've started with, and they all have content on them. You can also see down here in the bottom left, it does say three pages and two spreads. I'd like to see these pages represented vertically. In the panel options menu in the upper right, you'll see a hamburger icon. The hamburger icon appears in all of these panels, but if I click on this one, I'll see the panel options for the pages information. If I go to the second option at the bottom, it says view pages. Right now I'm viewing pages stacked horizontally or vertically, and I want to change that to something different. So if I go horizontally, for example, now they're in a row, all in a row. If I change it back to vertically, they're going to go back to where they're stacked on top of each other. So each spread now is vertically stacked, whereas before uh, they were horizontally side by side. I can add new pages. Now there are two ways to add pages in the Pages panel. One way is to go back to the hamburger icon and click on the Pages panel menu, choose Insert Pages, and I'll get a dialog box. This dialog box is very useful for controlling a lot of the information about that inserted page. For example, I can tell it how many pages I want to insert, so not just one at a time. I can tell it where to insert. I can say after a particular page. Now in this case, I might want to go after page three. And then I can instantly apply a master page to it. We're going to talk more about master pages in a moment, but just understand master pages is a template of layouts that I can assign to that page. Once I choose how many pages I want and where I want to place it after, before, or at the start of, or the end of the document, I can click OK, and you'll see page four has now appeared after page three because I chose to place it after page three. Page four is currently blank, doesn't have any content on it, and it is on a spread by itself, so Option or Alt click will let me see that. Three, now I have three spreads with four pages. Just like the status bar shows, I have four pages and three spreads. Now, let's say I made a mistake and I wanted this page to be placed between page two and page three. I can click on this page and drag it around the Pages panel. As I drag it around, I can see a little bar that will show me where it's going to land. If the bar is to the left of page two, that means it's going to be in the position that page two is in and replace it. If the bar is to the left of page three, it's going to insert between page two and page three. So if I place this here, page three will drop down to the page four spread, and now the new page is blank on that page three spread. So we can drag and drop the content. I'll move it back down to the bottom, place it here on the left, and now it becomes page four again. I can use the icon down here in the bottom right corner next to the trash can with the plus sign in it. This will let me create a new page. The issue with this one you need to be aware of is whichever page I have selected, that's where it's going to place that page. So if I have page four selected, I hit the plus, it'll place it after page four. So now I've got page four and five on the same spread. However, if I had, for example, page two selected, and then I hit the plus sign here, it's going to insert it before page three. Therefore, I now have page one on a spread by itself. I have page two on a spread by itself. Page three, uh, sorry, page two and three on a spread by themselves. And then page four and five have been moved over and page six now exists at the end. You can use the pages panel to navigate from one page to the other by double clicking on the page that you see, the little thumbnail. So as I double click on these different pages, they'll jump to that page. The Pages panel, again, is very powerful, lets you add and insert pages. However, I can also delete pages. Maybe I don't want this page anymore. So I can click on it, 
and hit the trash can to delete it. I don't want this one, I can delete that one. Now, this one, because it's on the same spread as a page that already exists, it's asking me if I want to delete this. Because of the facing pages option, it's saying, hey, it could alter or modify the design. I'm gonna click OK. Now this one is where it becomes really important, the one on spread number two, because page two and page three are together, page four would have to move up. So if I right click on page three and I choose delete page, I'll get that same question. Once you get this question often enough, you can check this box that says don't show this again. So I'm gonna click OK, and now it's going to put those back on the same spread. So when deleting pages, be aware that if a page is on a spread by itself, no problem, the entire spread will get deleted. But if a page is on a spread with another page that contains content, it could modify that content. In this case, it had to rearrange the spreads in order to make sure the content went together. So that's the Pages panel in a nutshell. In the next video, we're going to take a look at Master Pages and how to use them. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here and click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.